Okay, so we're looking at some equations here. So this is obviously algebra. So we got this equation, this equation, and this equation. And in algebra, uh, what you're trying to do, big part of learning algebra is solve uh, various type of equations. But how we solve this equation is completely different the, uh, in terms of how we, the methods and techniques, uh, than this equation. And this equation is different from these other two equations. So in algebra, you have to learn a lot of different techniques and you got to recognize, hey, what kind of equation am, am I dealing with? And then what are the steps to solve that uh, particular equation? You know, the objective is always the same. You're always still looking for the value of x that makes these equations true. So that's what we call the solution to an equation. But again, uh, the, they're dependent on what type of equation you're dealing with. You're going to have to learn uh, all different type of te uh, techniques in algebra. So really, really important that you're paying attention in school. Of course, I know that you're absolutely paying attention and you're here because you want to learn something. And uh, unfortunately, only like 10% of uh, math students, and I don't know if it's exactly 10%, but in my experience, really understand that in these 10%, when well, they would represent those students that are getting like A pluses or strong A's, like in a bell curve, the majority of students are getting what? Well, C's and B's, it's just the way it is. Then you got your B plus folks, then you got your AA plus folks way over here. And then unfortunately, you got these people down over here getting D's and F's. Well, we can help those guys out as well. There's no reason this is, you know, should be happening. But, uh, you know, to be at the very, very top of your game in terms of algebra, you need to totally understand this. Now, you can get through and do well in algebra without really kind of fully understanding this. But if you want to be one of these folks way here uh, at the very, very end, then you want to pay attention. Now, what am I going to be talking about? Well, I'm going to be talking about something called the fundamental theorem of algebra. Now, if you're saying, oh, that's what I'm going to be talking about. This is uh, this guy, he's going to be talking about the fundamental theorem. I know this 100%. I don't need to watch this video. Well, if that's the case, then definitely go find something more interesting on YouTube. There's a ton of uh, awesome, funny videos out there. Uh, so, yes, please uh, depart. However, if you're like, hmm, well, maybe I don't know this as uh, well as I think. Uh, maybe I don't even know what he's talking about. Well, then stick around for a couple minutes. I'm going to introduce you to this concept because this concept is very, very important, extremely important in algebra. And if you continue to learn more advanced mathematics, in other words, uh, you go beyond algebra one, this thing gets more and more important. Okay, so we're gonna get into this in just one second. But uh, first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. And uh, over several years, I've constructed what I like to believe is one of the best online math help programs there is. Now, that's a pretty bold statement. And uh, I'll let you be the judge of that. If you're interested, you can check out my math help program by following the link in the description of this video. But uh, basically, I have 100 plus different math courses ranging from uh, pre-algebra, algebra one, geometry, algebra two. I'm going to be launching pre-calculus probably by the end of this week. Very excited about that as I really enjoy teaching advanced mathematics. Uh, but I also have many, many courses in the area of test preparation. So if you're studying for the GED, SAT, ACT, GRE, GMAT, ASVAB, ACCUPLACER, CLEP exam, uh, ALEX, maybe a uh, teacher certification exam, and a ton of other type of exams, uh, I can help you out. Just go to my website, check out my full course catalog. If I don't have your exam, uh, drop me a line and I'll help you out the best I can. Um, I also do a lot with homeschoolers. So if you homeschool, I have a great homeschool learning program. And then obviously I help those of you that are just struggling in your current math courses. Now, if you truly are serious about wanting to be great in math, then you got to be great at taking notes over decades of uh, teaching mathematics. It's apparent to me that uh, students who take fantastic math notes, there are these people, they're like these you know, uh, these 10%, uh, they, these people always do well. It's, you know, obvious. They're paying attention every day. Uh, they're focused. They're doing the work, you know, so it's no surprise that they do pretty well on tests. And then the reverse is true. Those students who were like me way back in the good old 1980s, I was taking notes, but my notes were like, hey, Billy, what are you doing this weekend? Are you going to that party? Da, 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 right? Uh, so every time the teacher was looking at me, I was, you know, I was acting, pretending I was uh, learning math. But unfortunately, my grades were down over here. Uh, so, you know, listen, you get 
what you put in, all right? If you want to learn math, you're going to have to just do the work. There is no shortcuts. But uh, anyways, let's get into this fundamental theorem of algebra. And I'm not going to get into all the details about this, but I want to give you enough of a sense of what it is um, so when you run into it, you understand it. Okay, now uh, let's go ahead and just quickly try to um, identify these type of equations here. And there's other type of equations in algebra, but let's just try to identify that. Matter of fact, uh, why don't you see if you can give me a description on what type of equations we're dealing with. All right, so this first one here, this is a quadratic equation, okay? So if you said quadratic, then I must uh, give you a happy face. That's very good. How about this guy right here? Well, this we would classify this as a radical equation. And if you got that, I'll give you another check mark. And this one here, what do you think? Uh, well, this one could be described a couple different ways. Um, this can be described as a proportion, okay? Or a rational equation. Okay, so if you said proportion or rational equation, then I must give you a check mark. And if you got all three of these right, then you're, you know, very good. All right, that's excellent. So that's the first thing you need to know. By the way, there's other type of equations in algebra. I'm just picking out a few here. All right, so, you know, you know, like, could you identify a system, uh, you know, of equa exponential equations? Log you know, I'm kind of getting a little bit more advanced here, but there's a lot more. Uh, there's a lot of other type of equations I'm not highlighting here. So you can kind of, you know, see that you don't want to get overconfident. It's like, oh, yeah, I think this is what this is. Well, if you struggle with these guys, then you're likely going to have trouble with these other ones as well because these are pretty standard, especially in basic algebra. Okay, now we got to take this a step further. So the fundamental theorem of algebra fundamental theorem of algebra has to do with things that are polynomials, polynomials. Now, this word, hopefully, uh, you've heard of this word. I'm pretty sure most of you have heard of polynomials. Oh, yeah, polynomials. I know what that is, polynomials. So what is a polynomial? Okay. Well, it's one of these things like this. This is called a what? A monomial. This is called a binomial. And then we actually have things like this. This right here, well, let's do it this way, x squared plus 5x minus 1. This would be called a trinomial, okay? Now, if you're saying, well, it's a polynomial, but it's, isn't this a quadratic equation? Well, a quadratic equation is, in fact, a polynomial of degree 2. In other words, its highest power is 2. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, well, get to the punchline, Mr. YouTube math teacher. Like, you know, you're doing a lot of talking here, but you're not really telling me anything. Well, you just stick with me for a little bit, uh, just a little bit longer, okay? You'll, you'll see. I'll make my point here in a second. So quadratic equations are polynomial equations, okay? We just give them a little fancy word here, quadratic. But they are polynomial equations degree two. Matter of fact, this 2x plus 1 equals 9, this is, in fact, a polynomial equation degree one. But we uh, describe it as a linear equation, and most of you, you know, probably even forgot that. That's okay. You know, I'm not trying to make you feel too bad. But anyways, the fundamental uh, uh, theorem of algebra has to do specifically and only with polynomials. And I can tell you right now, polynomials are awesome, uh, and that's why we study them so much in algebra and in even like more advanced mathematics, like in calculus or uh, when you're study engineering problems in, uh, in the university and college levels. If we can describe things as polynomials, they have so much, so many benefits to them. It's, uh, you know, crazy. Anyways, uh, so here, uh, this is a radical equation. This is a proportion or a rational uh, equation. It's not important that we understand why that is, but what is important is that we really kind of get a good definition of what a polynomial is. Now, this is a polynomial. These guys are not polynomials, okay? But why? Why, why, why? Well, uh, if you really want to, you know, impress uh, your math teacher, you can just, like, rattle off the definition of a polynomial. So what is a polynomial? Okay, more or less, here's the deal. All right, so here, let's take a variable x. Uh, a polynomial is mostly, uh, I would say, where students confuse um, polynomials the most is they forget about the power, all right? The coefficient, the number in front of this x, it could be x, y, it could be 
a different combination. This could be any real number. So in other words, it could be like 1.9. I don't really care what you put in front of the X. It could be uh, two thirds. It could be negative four fifths. It could be a, a, a negative square root of seven. Any number can go in front of the X, okay? That's not a problem. But what is very, very restrictive is the exponent to that power, okay? So you can only have 0, 1, 2, basically the whole numbers, okay? Positive integers and a 0. So anything other than this is not a polynomial. So you can see I have a 2 here, I have a 1 here, etc. Now I can combine these terms to create larger polynomials, but here's that's this is how this works because let's take a look at this expression square root of x okay what is how do i write this using um, exponents well if you were paying attention in your math class taking great math notes which I sh i'm sure you were uh, this is x uh, two i can write that a little better x to the one half power is the same thing as the square root of x now if you didn't know that now you know this okay so you can um write these radicals in terms of what we call rational exponents. So if you understand this, you're like, oh, okay, that's pretty cool. But now let's look at this x uh, to the 1 half. It's the, the exponent is definitely not 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. So this thing right here, x to the 1 half, okay, is not a polynomial. It's not a polynomial, right? Now, uh, if you didn't understand that precisely, then you know, you would be confused with the fundamental theorem of algebra. Okay, now let's get to the fundamental theorem of algebra. All right, just real, real basic, basic stuff here. So the fundamental theorem of algebra, uh, first thing is it's just, it's about polynomials, okay? Polynomial equations, that's the first main idea, okay? And basically, it states this, okay? The degree... The degree of the polynomial is how many solutions that polynomial is going to have. Now, let's go back to this problem. 6x squared plus 2x is equal to 1. Okay, now this is a polynomial equation. It's a quadratic equation. So how many uh, solutions does a quadratic equation have? If you said mm, 2, you would be absolutely correct. Um, because this is a polynomial equation. The degree, this word the degree, is the highest power. Okay, so it is two. So in this particular case, this has two solutions. Now, what type of solutions? Well, this is a whole nother deal. Okay, they can be real or they can be complex or imaginary uh, number solutions or they can be some sort of combination of both of those. All right, now uh, let's take a look at something like this. So that basically, let me just back up here. This is the main, main idea of the fundamental theorem of algebra. Okay, when you have a polynomial, the degree is how many solutions are going to have every single time, no matter what. So let's take a look at a problem. Let's say you're in Algebra 2, because this is a, this is a good Algebra 2 problem right here. This, this actually would require a decent amount of work. I'm just making something up here. All right, uh, let's say this equation. So this is a polynomial equation. Let's take a look at all the x's. If you notice, all the exponents here um, are nice uh, positive integers. Okay, so this and numbers themselves are, in fact, uh, you can classify as a polynomial like this 3. That's like 3 to the x to the 0. Okay, so they're like, well, x to the 0, well, anything to the 0 power is 1. So this is really 3 times 1. So this uh, numbers, you can, you know, kind of, you know, uh, they're not going to, mess up whether something is a polynomial or not. So this is a polynomial, and it's written in standard form, highest to lowest power. So we just go to the highest power. It is 5. So this polynomial has 5 solutions. Okay, has 5 solutions. Now, how can we find these 5 solutions? Well, that's a whole nother deal. Okay, uh, this requires a good amount of math skills, okay, and knowledge. So things that can help us out uh, would be the graph, all right? If we can get the graph of this thing, that can definitely provide us uh, with some clues and some really cool theorems, things like the rational root theorem, uh, Descartes' rules of signs. If you don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry about it. You'll learn this stuff eventually. Um, 
a polynomial uh, division, synthetic division. There's all kinds of different techniques and advanced methods to solve this, but the bottom line, this thing is going to have five solutions. We just don't know what type of solutions. But uh, let's take a look at a problem like this. And we go down here. So this gets even uh, crazier. So let's take x to the 6 is equal to 1. We're like, hmm, okay, x to the 6 is equal to 1. Is this a polynomial equation? Yes, it is. At this point, you should be like, yes, this is a polynomial equation. How many solutions does this have? It has six solutions. So if you said that, then you're paying attention. I must give you a happy face with a little mohawk, okay? Now, if you're saying, hmm, what number to the sixth power is equal to 1? Well, 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 times 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That is 1. So in this equation x is equal to a positive 1 is going to be one of the answers, all right? You're like, okay, pretty cool. How about negative 1? Negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1. All right, let's see here. Did I get them enough for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6? This is going to be positive. This is going to be positive. This is going to be positive. So all these negative 1s right here, 6 negative 1s multiplied together, uh, gets back to positive 1. So x equals 1 and x equals negative 1, these are solutions to this equation. They're like, pretty cool, okay? But what's the problem? The problem is the fundamental theorem of algebra says there are six solutions. They're like, well, now maybe you're like this now. Hmm, I thought I knew this stuff. Where are the other four solutions? Like you're looking around, checking your back pocket, and you're looking, you know, it's like you lost your car keys or something like that. Where are the other four solutions? Well, guess what? We're going to have to do some other crazy stuff um, and put, uh, use uh, more advanced mathematics. Okay, We're going to have to take the uh, roots of uh, complex numbers, and that requires uh, some trigonometry and some other stuff. So well, we, can find these, uh, we can find these other answers. We can find the other one, two, three, four missing roots. It's just going to require some more advanced mathematics because the fundamental theorem of algebra says these guys exist. And this problem right here is actually a very interesting problem um, that I do in my pre-calculus course. If you're interested in seeing the solution to this, uh, you'll want to check out my pre-calculus course in about a week from this video. All right, so let's just kind of leave that here because I can go on and on and on and on and on about the specific techniques to solve polynomial equations, but there are a lot, okay? There are polynomial equations, polynomials in general, not just in uh, algebra, in calculus, and in, in um, so many applications in engineering, et cetera. We love polynomials. When you see polynomials go up to that, you know, particular polynomial, say, wow, you are so cool, uh, because we know so much about polynomials. So when you see a polynomial, you know, just alarm bells should be going off. Like, okay, I know this, this, and this, and this, and this. And, uh, you know, still, but nevertheless, we still have to know how to deal with these other type of equations as well. A lot of stuff to learn, right, in algebra. How could you possibly, uh, you know, be learning this without taking great math notes, right? So when I tell you that you got to be doing this, you know, I'm not uh, joking around here. Uh, because if you're watching my videos, listen, I obviously want to teach you some mathematics, but two, I really want to uh, stress the things that are going to really truly get you to absorb and comprehend this stuff and retain it for the long run. Okay, so if you thought this video was helpful in some way, please consider smashing that like button. That's helpful uh, for me. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, please consider uh, subscribing. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years, have over a thousand uh, plus videos. Uh, basic to advanced mathematics, and I'm posting new stuff all the time. Uh, so those videos are there for you. Uh, again, nobody should be failing math these days. Um, if you improve in your note-taking, talk to your teacher, get a plan going, uh, and then, you know, beyond that, find other teachers that you like learning from, right? If you, you know, find my instruction clear and understandable, that's my whole goal is to try to teach this stuff where you, where you can kind of get it. Well, then, hey, you know, that's what I, I'm making these videos are uh, for you. But my best math help will always be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.